Yeah, brilliant to be back, there, back out there. Obviously, a few of these boys haven't played since Bristol, so it's been a while. A little bit of rustiness, as we saw, but we put 50 points on them, and that's what we set out to do, get the five points and move up the table again. And, yeah, we're happy with the, with the performance. Talk to me about the first 10 minutes. It was wild. <laughs> Absolutely wild. You score, we score, and we just said on the post, Marla spoke really well. He was like, we can't have one of these games where we're just back and forward. And then we obviously... Uh, put our foot on the throat and we scored two, I think three maybe unanswered tries, which is what we need to do throughout the whole game, throughout the full 80 minutes. We can't have these little lapses where they get in, they got the bonus point off that little lapse at the end. So we just need to be more ruthless and cutthroat there if we want to be this top top team that can push on, hopefully compete for trophies. So them getting a bonus point at the end, five points were already in the bag for Quinns. Does that frustrate you? Does it bother you? Yeah, 100%. It bothers all of us. Dom has spoke there. It's like, if that's a closer game, we can't have little errors like that. Like We've just got to be able to shut games out, like what happened against Bristol. We all spoke about that really well, and it'll come. It comes with winning, and you get used to these situations, so hopefully it won't happen again. On a personal level, do you want to talk about the first half opportunity or the second half opportunity? Yeah, I know. I couldn't score for the life of me today. I could not put the ball down over that whitewash. But again, we put 50 points on them. I can only be happy as the team. Obviously, individually, I'll look at it and hopefully get the ball down next time. But yeah, it's, it's a really good game. You know what that means, don't you? When you have that one opportunity in the tight game, it's going to stick and you're going to be a match winner. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully. Fingers crossed anyway. Um, so other than the lads speaking very well and, and picking up on those mistakes... What was said in that huddle at the end, it looks like a very, very positive group. Yeah, 100%. And we can see where we are on the table. We're top four, and that's what we need to be by the end of the season. We've set our limit there, and we've got to stay above there. So hopefully we'll push on these next six games now, I think it is, and we'll get that top four, and hopefully any place, anywhere we can take someone on. I'm starting to believe, mate. Well played today. Good to have you back. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.